Hi everyone, welcome back, it's my AK Swedish Whiskey Girl. And today, I'm here with a bit of a, a wonky whiskey, I guess you could say. So this here is River Rock. So this is a single malt scotch whiskey, bottled at 40% ABV. And it says on the bottle that it's sweet with spicy oak finish, effortless enjoyment. And it's distilled and aged in Scotland. Let's see. The River Rock difference, a sweeter, more welcoming single malt taken from higher up the still for cleaner flavour. And it's wonky glass to avoid waste and make every bottle beautifully unique and a commitment to the planet. So I'm really excited to review this. I love the bottle design. It is a company that is really thinking about sustainability for their launch, which was in, I think the first batch was released in November 2020. And they teamed up with a lot of local brands, um, which was nice to see, smaller Scottish brands. And the team behind it have worked previously for Edrington brands, so for Glenrothes, the Macallan and Highland Park. But about the glass, they've used recyclable glass that would have just gone to waste if not, so every bottle is kind of has a unique shade. Um, I kind of like this green, it makes me think of glass that you could find in where on the west west coast where we have a little summer house and sometimes you would find it was like finding treasure lost bottles which of course is awful that people left them out in the nature but it kind of makes me think of those summers which is nice for me and they also for every bottle sold i think they sell at 35 pounds uh, a tree is planted in scotland on shehalian which also Great, great initiative. So from what I can tell about the marketing of River Rock is that it's gonna be a single malt that is quite approachable to a lot of people. They have also said that apparently the British people, <laughs> they drink more American brands than actual British brands. So I think this is kind of a, a way to try and reach maybe people that would automatically turn to American brands without even considering something local or something British, which sounds fascinating. They are fas uh, focusing a lot on that this is a very approachable, there shouldn't be any burn, it should be smooth, so it will be interesting to see flavour-wise what they've done with that. So yeah, let's have a little look on the nose. It's quite sweet on the nose. It almost makes me think a, a tiny touch of rum. It's like soft, sweet barley. And maybe honey in a little mash together. It, it has this malty character to it. I would say it's definitely some vanilla coming through. It is interesting. I'm always when brands try to tell me what a whiskey is supposed to be like, I always got a little bit hesitant because I like making my mind up for myself. But I do think, judging on the nose, it feels very approachable. It's that kind of smooth sweet maltiness that just feels easy um, not simple at all but just easy which is um, interesting I haven't tried anything like this in a while so let's have a sip Sanjava what have they done with this Yes, it is what they said it is. It's smooth, so smooth. I think but in a good way. <laughs> I mean, I'm in no way doubting that these people behind this brand aren't sure what they're doing because they are very experienced in the whiskey industry. But this is fascinating. It is sweet and it's smooth. And it's a bit of maltiness and a little bit of vanilla. But 
its lovely flavors of each that come together and just this would be great for someone who wants to drink something that is not difficult I'm quite happy that I am kind of agreeing with what they've said that it's quite easily approached Mm, this might be definitely one that I would recommend to people that are looking to get into whiskey because I think definitely doesn't have a lot of burn at all. It's, I mean, I'm used to drinking a variety of strength of spirits, but at 40%, I still think it has a lot of nice flavours. It doesn't feel watered down to me. I think some people that want a little bit of a challenge in their whiskey, this will be smooth and this will be easy. So if you are looking for a challenge, this isn't for you, but I think it has a lovely flavour. It has something tropical in it as well. And the finish is interesting. It's malty, but it's tropical malty. It's not grassy malty. And it's not overly woody, but it does have a wood character. I really want to want to know what this is now <laughs> and what wood it's been in. Yeah, and as you can see on the bottle, they have this kind of wonky bottle shape, which I really enjoy as well. It's, um, I identify with being a bit wonky, but they're just celebrating wonkiness. Yeah, it's like, like pineapple candies or like mango candies there is something tropical in it which makes it really really nice this is one of the nicest whiskies I've had in a while would I dare say now I'm doubting myself I'm trying to think what I've tried recently but this is way up my street it's sometimes you just want to drink something that is easy and but what I would say when I want to drink something easy I still want it to taste good. I don't want something to taste like nothing. Because that's not the same thing for me. Something being quite easy and smooth doesn't mean lack of flavour. I know it can in some cases, but I don't think it does in this. And I mean, the sustainable approach just gives it even a bigger thumbs up for me, because as someone who reviews whiskey, of course, the flavour matters a lot, but everything around it, I think, matters too, because whiskey's a story for me, it's the people, it's the creation of it, I wish I knew what this was, but the whole kind of aspect of bringing it all together, especially when you're doing something like this, because this must be so difficult bringing out a single malt that doesn't have an age statement, you don't know what distillery it's coming from. There's loads of other people doing the same thing, where they actually have the name on the bottle or the age or a single cask or whatever. But to bring something out at 40 and do this kind of thing with a sustainable approach and everything, or it's, it must be tricky, but I think they've done it really, really well. And I can't not applaud you for that. And I'm definitely going to be sipping this bottle because I am really enjoying it. Oh, and I also forgot to mention that this has been all matured in American Experiment casks. And the whole bottle is 100% uh, recyclable. And they also do a refill service, which I haven't really heard of anyone doing before. But I thought I'd bring in Cody to try this because he's not tried it because I just opened it now and just see what his first impression is. And here he is. Hi guys. So let's try this. You've not tried this? No. I'm a bit worried as to <laughs> why she's brought me here. He's a bit suspicious of me doing this. Mm. I don't know why. I'm just giving him whiskey. I don't trust her. That's why. Not one bit. And I bring you so much whiskey. And you do. And you still don't trust me. It is quote unquote smooth, quite easy yeah. going. It's quite nice. So, what is it? Bourbon cask? Yeah. Mm. 
but we don't know the distillery, no age statements, forty mm. percent. I really like that. Yeah, it's nice. I said I thought it was easy, mm. but not simple. Like I could easily sip that at any occasion, but it still has a nice flavor. It Is almost it, has uh, like a single malt blend. Single malt. Single malt. It almost has this kind of tropical mood to it. Yeah. Yeah, it's very fresh. I just wanted to hear your thoughts. Citrus, sort of green fruits as well for me. Mm. But um, really easy. Really? I was surprised because I also said that I don't like when a company tries to tell me what it is. Like, this is super smooth, there's no burn, This is these things is what you're getting. But I'm actually agreeing with them. It is something I could easily give to someone who's not really been into whiskey and I think a lot of people might like that. Yeah, definitely. More so than a lot of other whiskies that I would place in that category, actually. I like the bottle. Yeah. It's cool. Me too. I like the sustainable approach of it. I've already spoken about that a lot. <laughs> and I mean, for £35, I think it's quite good. Okay, no more sip for me. But yes, okay. Thank you for joining. <laughs> and I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Have you tried River Rock? Let me know. Um, what do you think about sustainability around whiskey brands like this? Do you look for it? It's important to you. Um, and yeah, I mean, if someone's tried River Rock, I'd love to hear your opinion of it. And of course, if you have liked the video, I would be so excited if you would leave a little thumbs up and maybe subscribe if you haven't already. And I want to say a massive thank you to my wonderful supporters on Patreon. So thank you so much for being a part of my whiskey journey. But I hope you've all had an absolutely wonderful day. Slanjava. Skoala. Bye.